In this video, I'm going to show you how to look up the last value in a column in Excel. So let's say we have a column which contains a series of names and we want to create a formula that returns the last value in the list. So for example, in this particular list, we want the last value, which is going to be Rachel. But we want to do that using a formula. So the formula to do this is a lookup formula and the formula is currently displayed on the screen. So I'm going to apply this formula and then I'll explain how it works. Okay, so here's the formula and I applied it and you can see that it has correctly returned the last value in this list, which is Rachel. And here's how this formula works. So this is a lookup formula and it consists of three arguments the lookup value, the lookup vector, and the result vector. The part of the formula that says column B is not equal to null, what that part does is it returns an array containing true and false values, testing to see which cells in column B are blank. In this case, obviously, the first cell is blank and also anything after row 7 is blank. So that's what it returns. And the Boolean value will convert to 0 or 1. And they are used to divide by 1. So that's what the divide by 1 does over here. And in this case, our lookup value, that is the first argument, is 1. The largest value in the lookup vector is obviously also going to be the 1, since the second argument returns either zeros or 1s. So the lookup function will match the last 1 in the array and will return the corresponding value in the last argument, that is the result vector. Now, if this sounds a bit too complicated, don't worry. You just need to apply a similar formula and you'll easily get the last value in your column. Uh, note that this also takes into account blanks. So if you have a blank cell in your column, it's gonna take that into account as well. So let's say uh, we extend this list and we add another name, let's say, in row 9, we add another name. Let's say we add Jack to row 9. And you can see that the formula has correctly returned the last value in this column. And it has taken into account that there was a blank uh, cell somewhere in the column. And this is a very convenient method for returning the last value in a column using a lookup formula. I hope you found this useful. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing, but in a row. Let's say we have our names in a row, and we want the last value in a row. I'll show you exactly how to do that using a formula as well. So make sure you watch that video, which will be published very soon. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos. Thanks and see you soon.